Howdy fellow model train enthusiasts. So uh, I am the engineer and today uh, making this video for you. We're going to lay down this Atlas Code 83 track uh, down in our uh, pre-made track bed. Hey Vic, come over here and show this track bed right here. So we're going to go over here and we're going to use this section. We're going to pre-bend it by hand real quick and secure it to the track bed all in a few minutes time. So uh, just a little note. Um, so the idea is that every curve is no less than 22 inches in diameter. So we're using this pre-made, pre-manufactured Atlas 22 inch curve and we're using it as a reference uh, to make sure that every one of our curves is at least 22 inches and in, not diameter radius, I'm sorry, radius. Yeah, so, uh, so we made this section of track bed. So let's get down to bending. So, uh, so this is the, so before we start bending actually, I'm going to uh, remove the, uh, the last tie on each side so that, uh, so that we could cut the, uh, cut the rail and, uh, and finally secure the track to the track bed. Okay, all right, so now we're ready to bend. The key is to bend a little bit more than the curve should be so that it will hold its shape afterwards. As you can see, it's beginning to take shape and it's retaining its shape. And once we're done, once we're done curving it like this by hand, at the end, we're just gonna make some fine tuning, final adjustments. Uh, so that, so it's actually curved a lot more than we need it to. So we're going to uh, uncurve it. I got a little bit excited. So here we go. At this point, our track is approximately very close to uh, uh, to the actual track bed shape, and um, the only thing we need to do is to put some connectors, and also. Uh, cut the rail. So we've got it aligned here. On this side. Now we're going to we're going to mark and cut on this side so that they match. the rail there we go and now I'm going to secure it first I'm going to grab some connectors for the rail Getting this big. Okay, we're, our, um, 
we need to uh, remove another tie. perfectly. Now we're going to secure it. As I mentioned once on the form, I'm using these uh, uh, paper clip pins that we made ourselves and they work rather well. Okay Vic, ready for this? Uh, generally, you would need about eight of them for a section of this size, so I'm going to grab a few more. So they hold really well in this styrofoam. And in our previous build, nothing ever came loose after a few months of use. They were just fine, especially once you put the ballast down, add some glue to the ballast, it gets even better secured. And we're done. Hey, Vic, let's uh, show it from uh, a little bit from farther away so you could see. Let me, let me grab it real quick. Here it is. Here's our section. All right. Thanks for watching.